<laughs> Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and this is Science Max Experiments at Large, and this is a syringe. You might know syringes from when you get a needle at the doctor, but syringes are used all the time in science because they let you measure very precise amounts of fluid. Now, check it out. You push the plunger down, and it comes out the top. Or you could pull the plunger in, and it would suck more fluid in this way. But check this out. I've got a syringe attached to a hose here, and this hose is filled with water. And I wondered, if the hose was really, really long, how hard would it be to push this plunger down? Of course, I don't know where the end of the hose is because it was really long and I had to string it all the way around, so. Ah, ha, 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 here it is. Okay, so let's find out. Push the syringe down and water will come out the other end of the hose. Pretty cool. You see, this is called hydraulics. Hydraulics is a branch of science that deals with fluids, fluids like water but hydraulics are also a mechanism used in a lot of machines. Check this out, this is a syringe with a short hose on it, much shorter this time, and I press down on the plunger of the syringe and water comes out. And I pull in on the syringe and water goes back in. Because the plunger is airtight, it allows me to push or pull the water. But what if I close the system and take another syringe and attach it to the end of the hose like this? Well, then, if I push this plunger in, this syringe fills up with water. And then I pull this plunger out, the syringe empties. So check it out, this plunger raises and lowers based on what I'm doing with this plunger. And you know what that means? We've made a remote control. Huh? Check it out. So, if you take two syringes, and you take a hose, and you attach them to something you want a remote control, voila, you can build something like this. We have made our very own robotic arm that you can power remotely with hydraulics. Pretty cool, right? If you want to build one of these yourself, here are the materials you need. First, you need two supports and the arm. I used pieces of wood, but you can use wooden spoons, rulers, or pencils. You'll need some craft sticks, elastics, and a paper plate. And of course, two syringes and a hose, which you can get in an art supply store or a hardware store. Here's how you build your own hydraulically powered arm. First, make the base by tracing holes for your supports the width of a craft stick apart. Cut out the holes and use a craft stick and elastic to secure the supports underneath the plate and on top. Then add some elastics and a piece of craft stick in the middle so the supports won't scrunch together. Because we are holding this whole thing together with elastics. Then get your syringe in there and keep it propped up with more elastics. Then get your arm and slot it in between the supports. The arm should be horizontal when the syringe is half full. Elastics to attach the arm and the syringe. Then push down on this end of the plunger and ha ha, you have a remote control robotic arm. You can also max it out even more by adding more degrees of movement. You can make the arm rotate side to side. You can even add a little claw attachment at the end and power it all using syringes. Ha <laughs> ha, science and hydraulics.